everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be making a video on how to cover acne and acne scarring slash pitting, anything, um, anything related to acne and what it leaves behind. Um, in this video I show you how I got my skin to look like this and as you could tell, as you will be able to tell after this clip and as you could tell in my previous videos, I struggle with a lot of acne and a lot of acne scarring. I actually at this moment don't have any breakouts that are active, all of it is scarring, but I do have one or two maybe here or there that are going away a little bit so I do show you how to cover those and yeah, if you'd like to see how I got this look on my face. I didn't show you my eyes or anything like that, but if you'd like to see how I got this result, then please keep watching. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So the first thing that you want to do when you're trying to cover up your acne and your acne scars is really make sure that you're doing the right skincare before you go in with your makeup. So what I like to use is I like to use this Juice Beauty The Organic Solution Blemish Clearing Serum just looks like this and I use this first every time I put on my makeup because it helps fight my acne while I am wearing makeup and that's just what you should do so just so that I can make sure that I'm putting this on my face in the right places I'm just going to take this I just sort of slide it onto my face with the dropper and then you just rub it in then after I've put my serum on my face I use the serum to treat the acne that's going to be underneath the makeup but then this also tends to make my face sticky and a little bit dry so I've been I like to go in with a cream on top of that just to make sure that my skin is really nice and moisturized and that I don't emphasize any extra texture on my skin because I already have enough of it. So I've been testing out this Tatcha water cream and so far I really like it so I'm going to go in with this as my moisturizer on my face. Okay, so now that my skin is completely prepped for makeup, I'm going to let all this sink into my skin while I do my brows and my eyes. I'm going to do my brows and eyes off of camera just because this video is more about my skin and how I cover everything and the steps for that, not my brows and my eyes. So I will be right back as soon as I'm done those. Hey guys, so I'm finished with my brows and my eye makeup, so now I'm going to be moving in onto priming my face. Now that all of my skincare stuff is settled in, I like to prime my face, um, making sure it's still really, really moisturized. So I go in with the Too Faced Hangover X Primer. If I'm looking over here, it's because my mirror is over here. Make sure all your breakouts and scars are really moisturized, that way your foundation doesn't catch on their texture because they'll be really smoothed down and flat and not dry. Alright, so now that I've got my moisturizing primer down, I like to go in with another primer. The next primer I'm going to use is a blurring slash pore filling primer. And I use, it's from the Estee Edit, it's the Estee Edit Pore Vanishing Stick. Um, I stay at it, it's a business, so yeah. But I'm pretty sure they have this on sale on the Sephora website right now for like $23 or something. So I just take the stick and I rub it in the places where I have pores. It really helps blur it out. And I take it on my nose. And take it on the, the sort of wrinkly expression parts of my forehead and then I also just run it over my blemishes it really helps smooth them down as well it makes it so that your foundation doesn't get caught on them because that's one thing that can really make your blemishes stand out and stick out when you're wearing foundation is when your foundation catches on them and gets cakey around them so if you prime them and moisturize them really well, your foundation isn't going to have anything to cling on to on top of them. So, yeah. 
I'm just rubbing that in now. Also, like for the acne scars type of part of this video, if you have pitting in your face, like from the scars, using a blurring and pore filling primer will really help with that as well. It'll sort of help to fill it in a bit. So now that I have um, all of my priming done, that's all I do for primer, that's where I stop. I'm going to go in with a really full coverage concealer on top of my breakouts and my acne scars before I go in with any foundation. That way I don't have to use as much foundation all over my face to cover anything up. So that means less product and less cakiness. So I go in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. It is a very light shade, but since I'm putting it underneath my foundation, that doesn't matter. It's still going to conceal them. So I take it and just plop it on everywhere that I don't want to poke through. So that's all the places that I want to conceal before I go in with my foundation. And to keep this as full coverage as possible, instead of using a beauty blender to blend that, I take a foundation brush and I'm just using the Morphe M439 and I'm just going to pat it on those areas, if that makes sense, because when you rub and buff or you go in with a beauty blender, it really shears out the coverage that you're trying to put on top of your breakouts and your acne scars, so if you do this, it really covers them up. If you struggle with a lot of redness or like rosacea or something, this tip would, this tip trick would work. Now, this is the routine that I do when I really, really, really want to cover everything up, but on a day-to-day -day basis, I really don't care to be honest, if my uh, breakouts or my acne scars poke through my foundation, it really doesn't bug me, but when I'm really wanting to cover it up, this is what I do. Say I'm going out or something, or I'm getting pictures taken, something like that, then this is when I'll do this. Then that is when I will do this. Sorry, I don't know how to talk. Now as you can see, because that concealer is so full coverage and so thick, it pretty much looks like I put that all over my face, but that wasn't the goal. It's just what ends up happening. If you use a different concealer, then that's, this probably won't happen, but like that one's so full coverage and a little bit goes a long way that that does happen. But anyway, now that I have that down with the brush, I'm going to go in with my foundation. So the foundation I'm going to be using today is the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. It's a medium to full coverage, like, buildable foundation. I'm just going to do a light sweep of this all over my face. I'm not going to really try and cover anything up with this. I'm just evening out my skin tone, evening out this concealer and everything with this. Always make sure you blend everything down your neck so you don't just have like a line of where your foundation meets your neck. And on my forehead I don't really have any acne and I don't really have any issues with my forehead so I just dab a little bit of foundation on there. Like I said just to even everything out but I don't really need it so I don't put a butt ton on there. Okay, now that's all I do for foundation. This is my even base all over. As you can see, everything's really covered up. Not much really peeks through, just like a little bit, but I'll show you how to get completely rid of that as well. So now I'm going to go back in with my concealer and conceal under my eyeballs like I would normally, just going back in with the shape tape. And I'm just doing my normal highlighting, all that jazz. And I'm going to blend that out with my sponge. Okay, so now that my concealer is blended out everywhere, um, now what I do 
to make sure that all of that is covered up completely. I take a bit of a stick foundation that is a bit darker than all of my other that really just happen? What the heck? Anastasia, what the heck? <laughs> it literally just completely broke off. What the heck? Are you joking? Oh my god. I'm pissed. I'm so pissed. What the heck? Anyway, I'm gonna use it anyway. So I take it, I take the broken stick foundation that's in a bit of a darker color, and because all of my acne and acne scarring is like pretty much on my contour line, I take this and basically sort of contour with it a tad. It adds more coverage and looks good, so. Yep. For you, Anastasia, that was stupid. So best. And I'm just gonna blend it in upward pounce. So it looks like I'm just trying to contour. Like I said, this is not my day-to-day -day routine. Day-to-day, -day, I really do not care. Day-to-day, -day, I would not put this much makeup on my face, but... I am to show you guys what I do when I do need to really cover it up. So at this point I have like three layers of freaking foundation on my face and it feels so wet so I'm ready to set it all in place. Going in with my Laura Mercier powder and setting my entire face in this. Baking under my eyes and then putting this all over my face. I also just bake Everywhere is a pull my concealer. Now I'm going in with a big old powder brush and putting that everywhere it's on my face. And instead of rubbing, I first push it into the skin. Just rub around a little bit. Dusting away the bake underneath my eyeballs. Making sure to really set my jawline. Okay. Now that everything is set in place, I'm going to go in and do pretty much my normal face routine, bronzer, blush, highlight, setting spray. I don't apply those any different. Uh, I just make sure that I really pack up the coverage when I'm trying to cover up my acne and acne scarring and all that jazz and just really making sure that you do your skincare before so that your skin is really hydrated and it doesn't have any dry patches to cling onto. As of right now, I do look like I'm wearing a lot of makeup, but that that's because I am. But at the same time, I don't look cakey and I don't look too much because I don't have any dry patches that anything is clinging onto and everything is sitting really nice. So yeah, I'm just going to finish the rest of my face. I'll tell you what I'm using and whatnot, but yeah. First, whoa, I look so white. The camera can't even focus on me. Oh my god. Please. I'll go back. Okay. Anywho, I'm going to bronze my face using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. There, that gives the camera a little something to focus on. I'm not so ghostly now. Goodness. Okay, now I'm going to be going in with blush, so I'm going to be using the... Um... 
Armoretto shade in the Becca Jaclyn Hill thing. I have to hurry up. And since I've already got it out, I'm just going to highlight with the two highlights in this palette. Uh, Champagne Pop and Prosecco Pop. Oh, also another tip is when you are highlighting, avoid your breakouts that actually have bumps because that'll emphasize the texture of them and then people will be able to see them more. So just try and steer clear of those. Okay, now I'm just going to go ahead. Now I'm just going to go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup, like the finishing touches, my lips and that, and I'll be right back with the final look. Okay, so now my makeup is completely done and this is the finished result. There is basically no trace of any acne or acne scarring whatsoever. I Like I said, this is not an everyday look for me. I do this when I'm taking pictures or I have to cover everything up just because I want to have a full coverage look. So yeah, this is what I do. Thank you for watching. I hope you thought this video was helpful and enjoyed uh, watching. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video and have a great day. Oh, but before I go, please make sure to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. It would mean a lot to me. Like this video if you thought it was helpful and comment with any questions or suggestions. And yeah, see you guys next time. Bye.